with like YouTube, I've had random shit pop up like, oh, transgender and like drag and all that. And I'm just like, okay. Sorry. Immature. Are we recording? We're recording. Oh, we were? <laughs> I, I just started the recording. Okay. Has always spoken that? Yes. Okay. Hola, puppies. Okay. Welcome Oops. to Fly in the Wall podcast, episode three. Number three. With me. That's I'm six. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey. Shh. Oh, That's why hey, I'm... Hey, hey, me, me and you have opposites. Like a G6. I know. Yeah. But I'm a three. Opposites. Okay. Uh, uh, we have a special guest today. Our daughter. Go subscribe to me on YouTube at Talia Zimmer. T-A-L-I-Y-A-H-Z-I-M-M-E-R. Thank you. <laughs> it's right here. Subscribe. It'll be down, downstairs. Oh, downstairs. <laughs> down in the d- description below. Or what we like to call downstairs. It's right down there. Down. In the downstairs. In the downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay. let's get back to business. We never started business. Oh, yet. we ne- well, yeah, no let's, business. Let's we, we don't have any sponsors, so there's no business here. Yeah. Let's just get straight to the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what <laughs> well, I meant by business. Let, let, let's make sure that we can watch video, or so everyone can see the video. So I'm gonna switch over real quick here. Okay, not that though. Uh, not that either. Get organized. Oh I my wasn't Lord. organized. <sighs> okay, let's start this over again because this is restart. Hilarious. Restart. Restart. I don't know what I can and can't say, and I don't want to be very specific about how I know it, but I have very good reason to believe and until I'm very savage. confident in that as of today, Jessica and Eve is purchasing a firearm, which Fine I don't again. know how easy it is to do in Canada, she... but I know that that is something that is happening. A lot harder than in the States, I guess, but, yeah, but it's... she's not registered, or he is not registered. He's registered Finders elsewhere. Must be aware yeah, of registered the registered sex stock. offender. As I said. tried to pepper spray a reporter. He's been taking down salon after salon at the BC Human Rights Tribunal trying to make oh God. immigrant women wax his balls. Yeah, right. He's even threatened myself yeah. and I wouldn't my do fellow that. rebel reporters that dress and looks even horrible. assaulted David Menzies. That's not even to mention his mother who did the same to me that is not a mother is that a boy i don't know i'm really people. confused about that, that thing has a i sat down penis. with trans activist and youtuber <laughs> blair white about their online fight between blair and jessica yaniv blair shared some explosive information the on the latest person? disturbing a development in the it's jessica, jessica. yaniv saga jessica jonathan What's... yeah i mean I don't no, think he's name. disabled at all. I haven't seen any ample reason for that. Yeah, he's not um, disabled. He, he can sprint. I don't no, know. Look at him. He can hit. No, look at him. He's like <laughs> beating on this guy. very specific and... about how I know it. But I have very good reason to believe, and until I'm very confident in, that as of today, Jessica and Eve is purchasing a firearm, which I don't know how easy it is to do in Canada, but I know that that is something that is happening. And hey. then picture that person having a gun. You know that they're going to spin it off and say this is why we need to have gun control. Oh, uh, because, yeah, it's going to be but definitely something different. if she's going to buy it legally, she's going to have to go through their system, right? Mm-hmm. But if there's already video evidence that she's cuckoo. and Yeah, but they're not that, they're not even doing anything about this. Yeah. This I person is definitely on hinge. But it's if, not right. if she's buying it from the black market, then... That's, That's not a legal gun. So it's not no? legal. And, no, and the legal no, market is the black market. Illegal. illegal. Yeah, no, I said it's illegal. Yeah, she's, but she's definitely not going to go through the right process. The problem process. with criminals is they don't obey laws. Yeah. yeah. So she's by put by putting yeah. into law that you like having confiscating guns, people's guns that are registered gun owners, not registered sex offenders, like she, she, he, Clearly she is. should be. But by the people that are registered to have a gun they're not going around shooting people no they're, they're protecting not. but if you go if you go buy a gun book. on the black market then that's not lawful so yeah. okay changing the law about guns no, isn't gonna do shit but the, that shit about the guns pisses me off because who just goes around randomly shooting people sorry huh come a little bit closer to okay the sorry it pisses me off because people don't randomly just shoot people just walking by like but like 
when <laughs> but they use it to like protect themselves like if someone breaks into their house they're allowed not, to not just that we live in canada well yeah we're not <laughs> even allowed live where there's who the hell has a gun uh, mostly people that hunt they actually go hunting for their hunt, food or even if you like to shoot who cares what yeah, is it to or you like if as a, a sport gun? but yeah, the majority of people actually here are law-abiding citizens that don't actually have an illegal and gun s- that it go around shooting people. And I swear it down happens in the States, sometimes, but they've not got very the MK often. Ultra shit going on. Oh, they definitely do. And they then, just flip the switch. Yeah. But the thing is, the, these people that are doing the shootings, is, is it legal guns? Did they go and buy it there? No, but they never not. They never say, oh, their their father was a registered gun owner and that they had every right to have that gun. No, they never say anything in that part. Who's to say these people had purchased a gun illegally and the luckily streets. in one of those there was cops around that had guns if see if uh, if people were actually armed there would be less shootings because no one would want to fuck around because yeah because you'd be it. more yeah. fearful about going up into a school yeah. and shooting up the school even in the schools i think that in there should not, be security in, in canada it's, it's not, not a as but in the states if they've got that big of a problem yeah all the teachers should be trained on how to shoot a gun yeah they yeah. should have guns that are locked that students can't get to. Well, they have but a fingerprint. In an well, emergency, yeah, like a fingerprint Dad. scanner. And in an emergency, if they need to, go get those guns and protect the kids. Yeah, Why I agree. Why can't they do that? 100%. But Dad, also that, but they all, like, this is nothing to do with guns, but they should have, like, everything to protect a kid because there's obviously, like, stuff that happens. Like, they don't actually but get the school. If, if this is an epidemic that's happening all yeah. the time in the States now, apparently, that, they, what- th- that every teacher... The principals, everyone should be trained on how to shoot a gun, how to use a gun, how to load it, how to everything about it, and they should have them in the school and have access to them if they need to. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Because a teacher's not going to go around shooting people. If the teacher, if they do it with a thumb hand scanner or a fingerprint scanner, then just them, they can get in there. Have it set up, have people come in and train them. Exactly. And at least they, you know, instead of doing a lockdown, I've been in a lockdown before. It's really bizarre. Or, um, but I you have, have to. to get into a corner and they get all the kids to hide so that they, they can't see you through the window. And um, honestly, if a teacher would have the potential to have a firearm, it would prevent a lot. Like yeah, those lockdowns. Like, be like, get out, I have a gun. No. <laughs> yeah, no, and then they could use fair warning and and i mean even if a a teacher or someone has a mental breakdown and well like you know how preventative it would have like out here that that stabbing that happened that kid had a a, that that wasn't even a kid it was a man and he went in and stabbed two children one died i'll i'll put up uh yeah showing and uh you know where yeah um anyways had someone of secure i don't know why they would have a library with in incorporated yeah, with the, the high public, school doesn't make library, sense yeah. to me oh, yeah it's out here one? it's out here yeah that one i know you're yeah. talking about now yeah he killed the one kid and uh stabbed another kid but the other kid survived yeah yeah but it was really sad because like the, all the kids were like taking off their I know, shirts but, and, like, like wrapping the had there like, been like proper security like and at, why, i don't know why they have a public um a public library see, incorporated didn't need that. A gun. i know yeah. and he had a knife yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is then, had someone had a gun, he would he would have not been able to yeah, get away some, or if, stab as many people as he did. Yeah. As sad as that is, but that just happened out here. Yeah. And one child anything, lost their life for it, which add is more pathetic, guns to the horrible. system. But make sure that people know how to use those guns. Also, make sure that they're trained like, in how to safely, properly use them. How to dead. How to store proper them. precautions. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like I've heard a whole bunch of stories of like women like being like raped and stuff but if they had protection then they wouldn't be raped mm-hmm. like, well you know what I, I mean pepper spray is illegal or tasers maybe not, are illegal they wouldn't yes. be raped but they'd have a better fighting chance yeah. against it yeah, yeah. but even even that like in canada you're not allowed to have a pepper spray you're not allowed that's to what have, i'm saying you're not allowed you're not to, have allowed a to taser. protect yourself basically so, yeah you're not allowed to protect yourself in Which canada is you're, you're walking prey to anyone yeah. that doesn't obey the laws yeah. Yeah. If you're a law abiding law abiding citizen, which the majority yeah. wait isn't but, didn't that one guy go to jail for protecting himself? Oh yeah, when that, he got stabbed in the yeah. head. Oh, yeah, that guy. Canada, well, Winnipeg, that was in Canada. Yeah, I think and, it was in yeah. Winnipeg or something. On what a, the fuck? I think it was on a reserve. But yeah. what happened is it was. Uh, oh, whose phone is that? I don't know. It, Mine. Mom. It was over a girl or something. Sorry. <laughs> so Sorry. I'm pretty sure it was over a girl. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
he was sleeping, the guy that was getting stabbed. Right? Yeah. The guy came up, started stabbing him in the head. I and would he have woke obviously... up, and what would you do if someone was stabbing you? You Stabbed wake up, him. <laughs> he turned around, and he ended up killing the guy. Yeah. And he killed the guy, and he ended up getting, I think, five years in Canada. That's stupid. Because he killed the Protected guy that was himself. trying to kill him That's in his so house. That's so stupid. Yeah. People are really dumb. Stupid. Mm, yeah, they probably... Stupid laws. The elite probably has protection. Actually, they have the whole military. Yeah. Uh, the elite, they have... They can pay for private... Uh, security that can carry guns that yeah. has the proper permits. Wow, they get to, or but we get, can't. Great, yeah. <laughs> stupid. That's the problem. Think about how bad it is in the states, in some of these places like Chicago, uh, uh, all all these different places that are neglected. Yeah. Baltimore. Yeah. That are neglected by the the state, basically ne- neglected by the government because the government's a bunch of bullshit. We already know this. Yeah. And they're left. Oh yeah. They they have to grow up in a place that if they don't carry a gun with them, they're risking dying. Yeah. And they, it's bad. And yeah. there's, it's stupid because there's laws against them having the gun, so they can get thrown in jail for just having something to protect themselves because that's the life they live. Because no one's coming in to help them. Yeah. The also, Dad, there's a girl that I danced with. Um, and her friend got stabbed on the bus, and she had to go to the hospital. Yeah. And she didn't. She couldn't protect herself. <laughs> he just came up and started stabbing her, and she's literally like a year older than me. Yeah. And I was like, "What the hell?" Like she told me this, I was like. That was on public transportation. Mhm. Public transportation that they try and push every everyone on. Yeah. Literally, that's why I don't like going on buses because I feel like. I just, like, get too scared. I've heard, like, there's... That's basically, like, you can go there and anything could happen. There's so much people who are mentally, like, unstable that go on the buses and stuff. Sorry, I'm not going to move that. Um, There's people who are on buses who can be, like, not mentally okay. And they could do anything. Yeah. They could just go up to you and just stab you. So that scares me. That's why I don't want to go, like... I don't like the sky trains either. Those ones scare me even more. And that's why... Someone like you should be able to carry a taser or Mm -hmm. something to protect yourself in case of... Plus, I'm young. Like, I'm a young girl and most guys will come up to me and try to be creepy. But not just that. Probably a lot of them could overpower you because they're stronger than you. So, why wouldn't you be able to carry something to be able to protect yourself? I think it's bullshit. It's stupid. It's it's stupid. The only thing I could really bring is like a pocket knife. But what the heck? But even that, you'd get in trouble for. Yeah. You'd get in trouble to carry anything. (laughs) When know. really you should be able to protect yourself Bro, because I'd, no one should I'd have carry it anyways. a greater right over your life than you. Yeah. I I have this little like pocket knife thing, but I carry it anyways. I don't care. If I go to jail for that, that's just stupid, to be honest. Yeah, but that's, that's what stupid. they do. Especially in the States, because that's how they create the, the real slaves. Yeah. Like, everyone's slaves to the system. Yeah. Everyone's slaves to the system. But to create a real slave in America, the United States, all you got to do... Is to become a, a slave is break a law and get thrown in jail. Pretty much. Yeah. And if you if you uh, break a law, get thrown in jail, get convicted of a felony, then you cannot vote. You cannot leave the country, basically, because you're basically stuck there. It's done on purpose. And what what's considered a felony is depending on the state. I don't know how it works down in the states with their, their laws. But once you're in jail... It's free labor. Mm-hmm. You're a slave. You're not getting paid. You might get paid pennies a day, uh, maybe a dollar a day. I don't know what how much they make, but it's not much. Yeah. And you're a slave to the system, like a real slave. There. That's seriously so stupid. It's we all we're all modern day slaves because we're all stuck in the stupid system. Yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> but we can break free. Mm-hmm. Just move away from it. Everyone. Stop using the system. Stop using the system, everyone. <laughs> then pe- they'll have... If people to- would just move away from the system, it would just... It would just disappear. Work. It would go into... It would just move that way. Um, turn your thing I off. Cause cause the, 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 so. okay. There's no way that we're going to ever be able to fight the system physically. Yeah. That's what they want, though. They want no, physical. They, they, they do, because they want to kill us. Mm-hmm. They want a reason to murder us. Well, like, they probably... Aren't they the ones that, like, the elite are the ones who 
are the ones who are uh, usually like kidnapping kids and stuff like that. Isn't that? That's a conspiracy theory. Yeah, but I feel like that's <laughs> true. Okay, let's let's finish this video here because Sorry. we got sidetracked. A little conversation. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm as pro second amendment as it, as they come, right? I don't personally want Jessica you need to have a gun, like someone who wants to go in stalls with little girls and and assault reporters whenever he sees them. So we keep going back to the law, right? The law, the law, the law protects me. The law Fuck allows the law. me to attack these Fuck businesses. The no, law but I love that this makes it so I can get my dick lady. and balls waxed, like. Who's but then the same token is brandishes she's a legal weapon. Yeah. So against the law. But see, that's a real transgender. But she's actually a like the other one. really like, gone through crazy. Yeah. She has the vagina. process, right? She's abused the easily manipulable no. kangaroo courts in Canada <laughs> to destroy businesses and immigrants' livelihoods. No, but she's, she's protecting the political Wait, capital of the trans community Sorry. for his personal gain. Wait, what? I couldn't hear. You want me to rewind it? Yeah, Let's rewind it. No, what I was trying to say is she's actually not, she wants good coming out of, like, yeah. she doesn't want the trans community no. to to have. What Jonathan is doing? Is not he, right. He's, re- he's wrecking, he's wrecking. <laughs> he's the, re- reputation the reputation. That that trans people. When yes. they, they're just people that just want to live, live, their, lives live their lives. The way and they, then you have. Yeah. People like this that are trying to abuse the system. Manipulate yeah, and take and, advantage and of the situation. And take advantage of rights that they've that they should have yeah and he's he's making people trying to force people to wax his fucking balls okay that's plain and simple what he's doing not just that and then he's assaulting people that are asking the questions there's places that will wax his balls but he's not going to those places he's going to places where it's strictly women yeah where they strictly do women yeah and he's saying that it's his human right to have his balls waxed. No, his he's saying his vagina no, waxed. No, right? no, he's no, saying he his balls. balls. Oh, he's his saying his balls? balls? No, he just waxed my down... I don't know what, how he would he's say He's saying it, his so. genitalia, yeah, 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 but he, he's he not... He says, I have female genitalia, which you don't, because you don't. You got a fucking penis. Yeah, he's got a penis. <laughs> it's probably not very well, big, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why. That's probably why no, he gets off on like so balls much waxed. Sense. He has a penis. Or going after little children. Listen. He's obviously got a lot of issues. He has a penis, but he's a vagina. Uh, but he's a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a big vagina. <laughs> but he's a lesbian. We can all see this. But he's a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? That doesn't work. And so, what does your your clitoris get hard when you get <laughs> like what? <laughs> wow, this is controversial, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like how, when when you get aroused, what what happens? Is your uh, you know, does his it... <laughs> he gets butterflies. <laughs> This is uh, no, this is horrible. We can't say that because then you're incorporating, like he's trying to pretend he's a part of that community, but he's not. I know, but so this but, is not offending no, anyone. No, but I'm, I'm just making the joke him. that a penis is a penis and a vagina is a vagina. Yes. Yeah. So saying that a penis is a lady parts is not. Yes. No. Not a human right thing. True not anatomy anything. is not going to change. Anatomy right? is anatomy. anatomy is anatomy uh, until it changes. Yeah, then an, it's, an orange is never going to be an apple. I'm sorry, it's not. What? Even if it says that it is. Sure? I don't know. I I'm might confused. want to be. Stop. Stop. <laughs> That's creepy. No, but like this Blair person, obviously. Beautiful human being. No, but obviously that's the way they live and live your life. No, but that, the thing I is. I have no problem with that. But when you, start, when you start going after and attacking people like. Like this, this person, yes. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, not Jonathan I'm not even going to say no. Jessica. No, because. Also, they're trying to push it too much on kids. Yeah. Yes. Really well, actually, bad. let's go over another video afterwards because, okay. uh, yeah. You know what? That, the, like, I mean, there's I'm, a there's a many people in the trans community that I'm are not beautiful. That it's no, bad, they're no, no, but no. I'm just saying they shouldn't be pushing that stuff on kids. Well, I mean, when schools indoctrinate right. and try and change, oh well, you should be gender fluid. Like, I mean, you should teach them first the values of you know male and female, and then when they're at age of maturity, then they can decide on their own. Don't. In- don't try and push this on them. Yeah, and when their parent is like, like in charge of them, like hormone they, injections, they should be able to. Yes. Well, hormone injections well, should not be a thing. Or homo- hormone blockers. Yeah, blockers so not a thing. Yeah, like that. Sh- you're you you shouldn't have to medicate or do any form of changing until your brain development has completed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like th- this is coming from the same government that is saying that you shouldn't smoke pot when you're a kid because it's I know, de- it your sh- development, right? Your it's development, all about your right. development. And yeah. like alcohol or, alcohol or anything yeah, else, like, but they got no problem fucking with your hormones. Like, what the yeah, fuck is that? Yeah, that's not right yeah. at all. What the fuck but is that? But even like asthma the patients, there's other ways around 
uh, treating asthma, which I am. There's a lot of ways asthma. of treating a lot of things Th- differently. I, and can't, well, I'm just saying. But that's another. I'm just video. giving an example. Mm-hmm. But that's another video. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, I'm running okay. through. So let's finish this, and then let's let's talk about what Talia was talking about with the the kids. The kids. Yeah. Because we're gonna go to CB Kids News. Oh God. Okay. CBC Kids News. Sorry. What does that mean? I'll, yeah, we'll, you'll we'll have to see you'll this. See. You're gonna be like, oh, no. what this the? F- an immigrant's okay. livelihoods. He's used the political capital of the trans community for his personal gain. Threat after threat, con after con, and assault after assault. The RCMP so far seem willing to let this predator How can get away they just... with what he and his mother This is right in their backyard. Doing. Can <laughs> I just... I know, that's the worst part. <laughs> like, back in your hood. Yeah. And when we is, lived on... Um... No, it was back in Dad's old well, hood. Well, no. It not, so it's, oh, it Langley. Yeah. That's where it is, oh, right. right. We shouldn't stay where his old hood was. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Inhibited weapons. What could be next? Wow. Is Yaniv on He's course a to obtaining a firearm, as Blair says? Is Yaniv planning to do this legally or illegally? I have my own guesses. Illegal. I set out creepy. to do this interview in hopes that it would be the final word on this disgusting story, the never-ending saga of Jessica Yaniv. By the looks of it, it won't be. Who's this person always talking to on the phone? I don't know. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you make sure that you're subscribed? Is that the one that, yes, that got I assaulted? Oh, you got you assa- we're definitely subscribed. <laughs> he got assaulted by that was the, him, right? the mother. The mother. The, the, oh, yeah. The mother? The, the, Is that the really mother. the mother, though? The, the mother. We need to find <laughs> like out. This. No, that's not a mother. That's a man. Hopefully. A so. rude man who needs to get the frick out. <laughs> Assaulting people. Well, what the hell? Like, I mean, they're asking hey, questions. I understand. CBC it's Kids News. Oh God. Let's just. Why aren't you subscribed, Jay? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why wouldn't I subscribe to this? <laughs> what are they oh, doing to the children? Oh, here we go. What you the have fuck to... is that? Why do they even have this for kids? Oh, hold on, I gotta go back. I... This is actually. In regular times, her name is Bunny, but when Did she's in drag, what bang? My dad. This is what they're pushing on kids. This is this is apparently kids news. Can you explain this? Why our state broadcaster would be pushing this on kids? Can you explain this to me? That's a boy. I don't know if that's a boy or a girl, but why are they sexualizing that kid? Yeah, they are. Like that. She was like this, that. Kid's like, a dancer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, but that's no. That's a boy. That was a boy. I'm Bracken. Um, I'm a 12 year old hyper queen, meaning a 12 year old female drag queen. My drag name is also a female my real name. drag queen. Simple. I see, they're trying to normalize it. Why the heck is she a drag queen? Is Susan B. Anthony. My no, they're all boys. Is my drag name is Lactatia. Lactatia? <laughs> that's so inappropriate. Laddie Gaga. Laddie Gaga? That's inappropriate. Yeah. Oh my god. Pause that. I could never what? see. Oh my god. Wait, isn't lactation like. Lactatia, like milk like coming lactation. out of your yeah, head. Like, yeah. that is fucking yeah. weird. Lactatia, like milk Who the coming out of your head. fuck would let their kid be that alter ego? Okay. I get a persona or an ego or whatever, like doing that. But, yeah, like, at that age, not. A tit n- come, uh, with milk coming out of No, head. no, but, like, did your parents approve your fucking name? Like, what the fuck is that? I'm that's sorry, that's name. just so weird. Does this kid even have parents? Because if oh he, yeah, they're probably like, from like it's probably social. It, I don't know what the fuck. Like, I'm no, sorry, I've I seen would... one. I've seen one kid, and their parent is all gung ho, and they're sexualizing yeah. their child. And I was like, what the fuck oh, is Dan- wrong with this person? Danny Cohn, the one I showed you. No, there's no. It's a that, drag oh my kid, goodness. and this kid was like in gay pride and everything. Everyone was like, oh, it's awesome. And he's like totally sexualizing himself, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with the mom? And she's like. If you don't like it, look away. I'm like, your kid is in a bikini. I don't know what the hell it was, but like, it was it was not appropriate. I was like, what the fuck? No. And the kid was like, especially. Eight. I think the oh, kid was eight. That was the worst also, part. Also, you know, like um, the pageants, kids pageants. Yeah. They totally sexualize those kids. Oh, they put them in like booty shorts and they like walk around the stage like that. And I'm just like, you're like five. But Why the fuck? You know what? Mm-hmm. It's always people put themselves in positions to be close to things if they're into things so yeah it, it, which is weird right but it's the way it is yeah. so. that's why for dance is kind of like i'm scared that if we put if they put us in like an outfit that there's gonna be like creeps watching you well know you I mean? definitely no you're definitely a part of that um because like, i'm mean, a dancer pageant, no so like <laughs> no pageants and stuff yeah. 
Well, that's why we like hip hop. That's I like hip hop. Okay, yeah. are you You're done with this drag, or do you actually want to? Watch I want to watch. Okay, no, let's watch, let's, let's watch this. Watch it. Sorry, we're kind of getting off topic. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we got to stay so on topic. Talk He's a topic police. Drag is a lot of things. Is that a drag boy? Is a performing no, it's a girl. Is it is. Can't hear. Showing who you are, but like we're singing and dancing. Drag is just a self-expression and an art. You are the canvas. You do your own thing, and you perform. A man transforms into a mom woman. For you're not a man, you're a little boy. <laughs> yeah. Is that a boy? I think that's a girl. A man. No, that's, that's a, a little boy. I'm up the deep end, watch as I dive in, out of beneath the ground. I'm pretty sure that's a boy. What was that? And he says a man changes into a woman. He said that a woman changes into a man. I'm really liking No Excuses no. by Megan Trainer. No, I swear. Paparazzi. You. Circus by Britney Spears. Oh, you see the, who they're influenced by? A man transforms a, into a woman. A man woman. transforms oh, yeah. into a woman. For entertainment. That's true. Okay, For right. entertainment, a man transforms, transforms into a woman. <laughs> Stop that. I do like his hair, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm off the deep end. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really liking No Excuses by Megan Trainer. Paparazzi. Circus by Britney Spears. You notice? Ginger Minge. Oh. Alaska from season five and also two. Ruby Diamond. I like Baby Bell Bell. Who the fuck? They're uh, drag queens. Favorite word? Work spelled with an E or a U. That's not a real word. I like Fierces. Sachet. That's not Sachet. That's okay, that's Cardi, Cardi B. <laughs> I mean, it's like the that's not even a fucking word. Yeah. Oh my fuck. What the hell did I just see? Yeah. Mom just let, I want to see. I'm devastated. That they can do drag too. If anyone wants to, wants to bring you down, you fight back. Not only that that's okay, but that there are other people like that. When you figure out you're gay or trans or something like that, it's not something that happens once you become an adult. It actually is around like all the kids of the documentary's age that we start kind of thinking what about What documentaries? Things. I don't even know. They, do, they did a whole documentary on this. This is just a little tidbit. And this is here, CBC, our state broadcaster. Okay this is what the fuck they're pushing on our kids. It really one, pisses it's me off. Weird. Luckily, we don't buy into <laughs> yeah, regular TV. Yeah, and they don't, don't buy have, this shit. They, they got a thousand subscribers. Oh, good for them. Pushing so hard. So got a thousand children. Right. Wait. Drag has helped me express myself in a way that I'm not able to in everyday life. Walk my way down the road of self discovery dance. and. Don't do drag. Dance. dance. You're going to dance. I feel like she, you can, I feel you can she has a lot of potential, though. Like an actress dancer. Yeah. Like, no, but these, these people, kids could be like. Like dancers or singers. They could be doing Broadway. a lot of things. No, they could do Broadway. No, they're, they're being pushed into this. Yeah, it's, quite it's honestly. being it's, a direction that's pushed towards them. It's, honestly, it, all, all the power to them if they want to be drags when they're older. But right now, I feel like their influences wait, are their parents why, and why the, the TV. Why the fuck are you sexualizing they're kids? They're sex, being why, sexualized. Why the that's fuck not are right. they sexualizing kids? It's not right. Yeah. This girl is also like she just looks dancing like, in like booty shorts, like right no, there. No, but if she was like dancing, yeah, like right? like creatively, it's not. She's not dancing creatively. She's just she's like being this, sexualized, like, like that. She wasn't like. I They're looking know. at the wrong influences. Like honestly, like drags, at the beginning, she was, love the, love drags, but they're not an influence for the future. In like, dance, there's be, some dance. It's not. It's, it's really not. But, what, okay. Like, if you put your kid in a sport or put them into something, that's one thing. But to put them into something where they're being sexualized by perverts, fucking perverts. Yeah. Why the fuck would you do that? Mm. That's like pageants. That's like yeah. drag for even, kids. What the even hell? Even pageants. Pageants. Like Beauty for five-year-olds. Pageants. Yeah. yeah, why do they have... I've never understood the swimsuit thing. Carson, Ever. Bye. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. Okay, anybody? So Close the door, door, bud. Shut the door. Let's just finish Thank this you. one and then should we do another video or should we just uh, have a little bit of conversation? And Probably a little bit of conversation. I think that our conversations are just, we got enough conversation to lead up into Help something good. It's helped me connect with people in the community. It's helped me to be myself. 
You're a kid. You should be creative on your they own. Why would you need a, a drag man telling not, you what to do? This kid should be coloring. <laughs> not doing drag. I'm just saying. That kid's like, how old the boy's age? Yeah. Uh, they, quite honestly, I, I... Like, they should be playing video games or like... No, if they're a girl, not even video games. Like, whatever. It doesn't matter. Go back to old school. Go play outside. Okay, well, this outside. generation's different. They'd probably be playing video games. But I'm just saying, like, why the heck... Are they like th- these are little boys too? Like they don't little boys and little girls. They just they don't know at that age. Well, no, they'll look they up to someone. Yeah. They'll look up to someone if they see them and they say, "Oh, well, it's something, it, it's something do, that's right? being pushed. It's, on it's being pushed it's, on it's them, and it's hard. not yeah, it's the like, right agenda. Do this, do this. But it's like, also okay. it's also like the media. But now. I think they're, the media now is pushing a lot of. They're shit. They're blocking but. their creative their creative juices and trying to make them something they're not i think these kids have so much potential and that girl looks like she could be an amazing dancer oh she probably is such a good she's dancing the wrong way for the wrong people yeah Yeah. no she's she's leading up to the pole but not not the right pole (laughs) the one that goes like this just saying sorry but that's kind of that's where it's going that's what's being pushed they want her to be a wrecked um single mom with one income and ruin Probably her child's a life. That's kind of what they're relying on the state. Yeah, relying on the state. That's what. That's they're why the government tries to t- like take their parents away from them so they can push something on the kids. Like that's what they're doing right now with like YouTube. I've had random shit pop up like oh transgender and like drag and all that, and I'm just like, okay, the fuck. I did not even search that up, but it's popping up on my phone. Yeah. Well, you're part of the well, demographic they're trying to cater just, to. It's just like yeah. everyone else on YouTube when in the upcoming recommended is usually CBC, not, yeah, it's CNN. All, all the... I get that too. Yeah. yeah. All the it's main... Like, I wasn't looking the, at The mainstream shit. media and yeah. I didn't want to watch the mainstream media because the mainstream media sucks. It's bullshit. And it's a bunch of bullshit. And people who have the money... It's just state propaganda. Yeah, all propaganda. I've all never propaganda. been into the news. Never. Yeah. I've watched... No, but, I like, looked at the news and I was just like... <laughs> Why do people even watch this? This is boring and it doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't watch this shit. Well, even people that watch the news, the news is just there to make people feel... Um, fearful. Brainwash? Fearful. Fearful. Yeah, and there's always and a stock market crash. Yeah. And then you have to uh, look on the recession. And it's it's all bad news. There's never something good yeah. that comes out of propaganda. Because they're trying oh, to, get, yeah. they're trying to create World War III. Yeah. But, and for, like, um, the guy or whatever... Which guy? Jessica. <laughs> oh, Jonathan. 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 Yeah. For him, I think it's really fucked up that he wants girls um, who are 11 and up to go to his stupid little swimming camp. Yeah, because he's a pervert. To and wants show to see their these... tits off. Yeah. Literally, he wants someone my age Parents. to have my boobs out. Yeah, and parents aren't welcome. The thing is, people people saw right through, through... I don't know why they were actually able to... He was able actually to... Uh, register the thing there because like, the elite would be sitting there watching these little kids wa- run around and swimming. I don't think the, okay, the elite but- would be there. <laughs> they got they got they lots got- of places that aren't in public where they can do that. Yeah, <laughs> true that. True like that. Epstein Island. Yeah. Epstein you mean Island. Little St. James? Oh, you mean Pedo Island? <laughs> That's what they called it. But yep. No, the locals around it's, there. Anyways. It's just really fucked up. Know? They're, he's a pedophile. But also, was that the l- little St. James Island was connected to the about? Disney oh, Cruise this guy. Line. Never mind, I got you. Hey, the yeah. little Epstein Island, little, or little Jane, little St. James Island, or whatever, was connected to the Disney Cruise Lines. You could go there and snorkel. Yeah, they, and they probably get like all the kids that work on those because there's a lot of people that actually work in cruise lines. That if you have um, some talent, they'll like hire dancers. I just think and all it's fucking stuff. pathetic. And they're that kids. How everything is just getting swept under the rug. Like what? What? Okay. What? What? What should they do next? Maybe they should go after that Gis- Gislaine Maxwell or whatever the the handler for him, the one that groomed all the well, kids. Quite honestly, helped. of course, they like, should be going after her next. Get her and start getting her to point out names or put her in jail for the rest of her life. Well, yeah. you this know what I mean. Sh- start going down the swept. fucking line. I don't think they, this will they, they be swept under the rug, though. No, but it won't. they have other names. Fucking start going after those people. Well, you got enough fucking evidence. No, there's one name, Prince Andrew. That they don't want to actually have the queen's son. The queen's son. The queen's son. I don't like the fucking queen. queen Elizabeth the third. Because I swear to fucking God, she was Queen Elizabeth the third, and it was she's Queen Elizabeth. She's okay. She's old, but she's not that old. 
Just saying. She's like 97 or something. Yeah, no. Yeah. But she's not that old. Like the second. Well, not. The second is you, probably way you, older. If you take a look at a lot of the elite, they live to like 100, 100. at least. Oh, well, well, because what about we that can't. And they can. Uh, unless you're you Epstein, one. then you get. They put suicided. us to work. Suicided. Oh, I'm, suicided. I'm, I'm, so with your broken bones in your neck? Yeah. Suicided with broken suicide? bones in your mm-hmm. neck when you're hanging for hanging with From the, the blankets what? that Wasn't are paper thin. Was he a big boy? Yeah, he's like two How the pounds. fuck? How, how high are the ceilings in... Um, They're like nine feet high, but there's nothing to hook onto. How the fuck and then is he... The beds, there's nothing to hook onto. And they then don't the, even have bed sheets. And, and then Wait, the, is the bed sheets are like paper thin. They would yeah, break they don't under have the them. weight they... of his. So... No, not only that. If the if the sheets are paper thin, how the fuck did it break the bones in his neck? Wait, it, is this how it. fucking he, big was the guy he, that killed he, him? What he, what he would have had to do is like slowly put pressure down and let it cut off the blood and oxygen and everything. But then even then under he had his to break weight, it. under his weight, it would have broke. Like, yeah, it, it's, Ugh, this is gross. No, there's it, it's bullshit no, but, like, because he was the, murdered. The amount of pressure that would have to F- be applied F- on his neck to break his bones would be more than what the thing just think about it dad's how big and then you have a guy he was bigger than you most likely that head was huge <laughs> he did have a big head <laughs> um there's no I fucking way this. like he could break his own bones in his neck like he just had not, to get killed he got murdered uh, trust me no one believes the story oh i know uh, you, you take a look at anyone talking about it well like, he was murdered he was murdered prince andrew touched little kids uh, no, or did something to little kids and the fucking queen every, covered everyone it. knows about that it's not you don't it's think a, it's just a queen you no. think it's a clinton body it's count it's the clinton yeah. body count okay hillary and oh, fucking bill that was loud as frick we'll add that one to uh, your ah got them yeah no they're fucked they're fucked super fucked yeah just that's all i have to say they are fucked. Well, glad that it's the age of Aquarius coming through. Bam, bam, bam. Ha, government, you can't bitches. trick me and I'm a child. <laughs> well, luckily, you're not a part of the CBC kids doing drag. <laughs> I'm a drag queen, guys. <laughs> nope. <sorry>. Talentless. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're at about 36 minutes. I think we've done a good job. Maybe. Yeah, Thank we, you, guys. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> and, and please just realize the truth, okay? Just realize what's in front of you, man. And if you like what we're talking about or anything else, just, you know, you can subscribe. Like. Comment. Share. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Go subscribe to my channel. Oh, look at her. She's trying to <laughs> throw herself at this. It's Talia Zimmer. Oh, we're gonna You're put gonna it have to edit that in. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, it's, it's edited. And bam, it's gone. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anyhow, I uh, hope you like what we were speaking about or talking about today. Uh, looking forward to the next podcast. We'll be more regular on this. Uh, just like, comment, subscribe, and, and hit the bell for more notifications. We're we're doing some research. We're gonna get some more stuff together. We'll get better with this. Uh, this is very Maybe I will new to us. Video. Oh, look at that. Leah's going to have another video. Oh, shit. But uh, we'll put all the other um, links in links down below because we're most likely not just on YouTube. We'll be on bitchutefloat.app. I don't talk yeah. about this. Yeah. I don't talk about others. this stuff on YouTube because I'd probably get demonetized. So, yeah. Even You're though not, not even monetized. monetized. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I on that one. Please subscribe. So but I we can... want her to monetize. Shh. Please subscribe so I can get monetized. She's close. Super YouTube's close. YouTube's going down the shitter, I'm sorry to say. But, but you there's know, other, there's other I could things. still do it. Yes. So, if if that fails, I will probably be on something else. I'm so, sure there's going to be something yeah. else. There's lots of um, avenues she can But go. yeah, my thing is to Leah Zimmer for everything, so. You, why except for, what, no, except what, for TikTok. TikTok here, what, Waterwaves? Waterwaves on through one, but if you if you search up to Leah Zimmer, it'll pop up. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. She's, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> we, we've uh, tried to brand her name. I think we've done a good job. So check her out, to Leah Zimmer. All right. And check us out, Fly on the Wall. Soon to have merch, hopefully. Thank you, guys. Bye, <laughs> Just kidding. Right. Bye. 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 Flies on the wall. Flies on the walls. Booyah. Booyah. Become a-